Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to look at universal print. So firstly we're going to have a look and see what, what is universal print. So universal print is a modern print solution brought to you by Microsoft that allows organizations to manage their printer infrastructure through cloud services from Microsoft. Universal print runs entirely from the Microsoft Azure and when it deploys um, when it's deployed with compatible printers, it doesn't require any on-premise infrastructure. So you can connect your printers directly up to Universal Print, up to the Microsoft Cloud, and share those printers directly with users within your Intune estate. So let's have a look at the architecture of Universal Print. So Universal Print directly connects into Azure Active Directory, Microsoft Intune, Microsoft Graph, and Office Data Storage Service. And there's two ways to connect printers into Universal Print. Firstly, newer printers may have Universal Print support, where you can directly connect that printer up into Universal Print and share it to devices directly. If you've got a bit of an older printer, or in today's example, I've got a, um, an old Canon printer, we can use a Universal Printer connector to connect that device up into Universal Print to then share onto printers. So let's have a look at how to set up the Universal Print Connector. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to download and we're going to install the Universal Print Connector. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into Google or Microsoft Bing and type in Universal Print Connector to download. And then we can go to the top one there, which brings me to this page. I'm going to click on download and wait for that to download. So once that's downloaded, we're going to press launch and then we're going to wait for it to open. We can see here it gives me a quick pop up saying Universal um, Print Connector can collect diagnostic data and send to Microsoft for investigation. Um, so just press OK on that. So as we can see here, we can see what the local service name is, the Printer Connector service, and we can see that the local service is currently running. The first thing we need to do is log into your Office 365, Microsoft 365 tenant. Cool, so now we've logged in. So what do we need to do at first? We need to give my connector a name. So what we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it JJ um, Home Connector. And press register. Hopefully that doesn't take too long to go through. It's gonna go register and then we can see after exactly how it looks within Universal Print. So now it's connected. We can see the available printers. So I've already got the my Canon TS3100 series already installed on this device. So first thing that you need to do before we even even look at any of this is we need to go to settings. We need to go to um, devices, and we need to go to printers, and we need to make sure that the um, Canon TS3100 series is installed. So that's the first thing that I've done. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to enable hybrid AD connect configuration because I haven't got hybrid Azure AD um, set up. And then we're going to go to click on the Canon TS3100 series and press register. That shouldn't take too long to go through and register. And then as soon as that is done, it will pop up on the left hand side under register printers. Cool, now that's under registered. So we're pretty cool with that. We can collect printer diagnostics if we click on it, and we can collect any collect um, any connected diagnostics as well by pressing these two buttons. So let's let's see how it looks in a universal print portal. So this is the universal print portal. You can go onto that by going to portal.azure.com and type in universal print at the top. So on the left hand side, we've got a couple of options here. We have the printers, we have printer shares, connectors, and document conversion. So we go to connectors, we'll be able to see in there some connectors that we've already set up. So the JJ Home Connector is the one we just done. So let's have a quick look at that. We can see everything in there that we've created. So we can see the host name of the actual uh, PC that's hosting it. We can see the name of the connector. We can see when it was registered, the operating system version, and just a general overview of it. On the left hand side, we can see printers now. So if I go to printers, we can see the printer that we um, joined earlier to the connector, which was the Canon TS3100 series. As you can see, if I click on here, I get all of the information about the printer, the name of it, and just 
some other bits here that will be populated in a second when we go to actually create a share. But on the left hand side, we can manage the jobs. We can look at the printer properties, whereabouts they are. We can put in some floor number, description, room numbers, and whereabouts it is. And also look and see what connector it's connected to. But what we're going to do to actually make um, sure that devices can connect to it, we're going to go to share. We can give it a share name. So we're going to keep it as TN, um, Canon TS3 100 series, but we can have that to any, um, change that to anything. And here we can actually have some uh, set up the access to the actual printer itself. So clicking on this will allow access to everyone in the organization, or we can give it to individual users only on this share. So we're going to click on my account here, John Jarvis, and press share printer. So once that's done, you can see some more information, such as the share ID, the printer ID, and some of this stuff is what we will need later when we set up the share in, in Intune. So now let's see how to configure it on the actual PCs themselves. And for this instance, we're going to use a Windows 365 Cloud PC. Great. So there are two ways um, to actually connect the printer now to your device. So at the moment, I'm using the Windows 365 um, Cloud PC. So there's two ways, and let's go through them both. So firstly, we're going to connect it up manually. So if we go to the Start menu and go to Settings, we go to Devices on the left-hand side and go to Printers and Scanners. So I've disabled um, printer redirection, so there's no way that the printer will come through from the host PC to this one here. So in Printers and Scanners, we press Add Device, and on the right-hand side, you can see Work or School, and it's going to show all the printers that are associated with it. We can see the Canon TS3100 series here now, and note that any users that did not have it on the share from previously will not see this here. But if we press Add Device, we can see it goes to Connecting and goes to Ready eventually. Now the actual printer is added, we can actually click into it. You can see it's a cloud PC with a cloud icon there. We can see the printer name, we can open the print queue, and we can print a test page. So let's see what happens when we print a test page. It goes into the document queue, and after about 20 or so seconds, it should then print out. As you can see here, the test page is now printed. Cool, so now we're gonna actually deploy the printer using Intune. So we're going to go to intune.microsoft.com. We're going to go to the devices on the left-hand side and go to configuration profiles. We're going to go to create profile and we're going to go to Windows 10 or later and go to settings catalog and press create. So we're going to give it a name. We can give it a name called universal printer deployment and press next. We're going to go to add settings and then go down to and search for, sorry, printer provisioning. We can see this one here, and that is what we're going to select. So we're going to select this at the bottom, and we can see on the background this has um, appeared. So we're going to exit there, and we just need to get each of these settings. So the cloud um, device ID is actually the printer ID. So over here, we can see that this is the printer ID. So we're going to copy this into here. We're going to go to the print shared name. So we can also look for the printer share name. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to go to and, in, and put in the shared ID of the printer as well. So the shared ID is this one here. So have those ready available, readily available. And fill them in exactly as it says. Oh, I noticed I just made a mistake for the printer shared name. It didn't copy properly, which is that one there. And press next. We can set up scope tags if we want to, but for this, we're not going to. And we're going to assign it to a group. So the group that we're going to assign it to is my user um, that is using my Windows 365 machine which is group windows. We can see I've got one user in there. And we're going to press next and create. So now that's been created, let's wait for my device to synchronize up and then see the behavior of it. Right, so we gave the Windows 365 device a restart. 
And now let's see what's happening. Let's see if it's been set up. So if we go to the start menu again, go to settings on the left hand side, go to Bluetooth and devices and go to printers and scanners. It's there. So the Canon TS3100 series printer is there. And it's showing exactly as it did before with the printer status as idle. And we can open the print queue. We can print a test page. And we can see the printer properties. So exactly what we wanted. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let us know in the comment section what else you would like to see within the Intune or Microsoft 365 space. Take care, everybody.